me, one of my favorite things about playing the saxophone is the uh, the range of sounds and tones and colors we can get from this great instrument. Um, from the low, subtle, romantic, sexy tones, uh, all the way up to the high, screaming, raunchy, rock and roll kind of wailing sounds. And when I first heard that, that kind of sound on the sax, I was hooked and I, I had to learn it right away. It's actually a very easy technique to do. We simply growl or hum uh, or a combination of both into the saxophone to achieve the, the, uh, extre the range of that uh, sound you want to produce. Here's a straight sound. Now I'm going to growl into it. So much more expressive, uh, especially for certain types of playing. Something you really got to gotta learn and, and try and do it well. At first, just hum into your sax, literally just like uh, 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 get that growling or nasty growl, humming, growl, hum, uh, I guess it's the same thing. Uh, a hum is a, a, a less severe version of a growl, I, I suppose. So just get a growl and or hum going. And I can actually hear it in the back of my throat. I can hear it resonate in my head. I can hear my throat growling, just like you can hear that in my tone. If you overdo it or practice too much, at first you could actually get <coughs> a little, you know, dry, maybe a bit of a dry, sore throat from it. But it's not something that I ever experience anymore. Uh, maybe once in a while, if, if you're kind of overdoing it on a loud stage, sure, it, it can happen. But basically, you get used to it and you learn how to go in and out of it um, so you're not always fully, you know, pedal to the metal with it either. So basically, just growl into your horn uh, as loud as as nasty as you want it to sound, from just a little bit to a lot. <laughs> Because if you don't growl on some things, it just not, it's just not going to cut it, is it? That or... I think you'll agree the growl wins out. So, just a nice uh, hum to a growl. That's more of a hum, this is a growl. So I think a hum would be a, a slighter variation of the, the, dirty, the dirty tone and a growl would be the extreme variation on that dirty rock and roll kind of sound um, from that's it. Now I do throw in the odd uh, over the top thing which is this. And that's the rolling of the tongue. You can add that on a growl to make it like that, that dirty. And that's just rolling your tongue as you're growling. And of course that's going to take a little practice because you can't just lazily roll your tongue. It'll get, it'll get caught up in your reed and stop it from vibrating so there's that fine line that you can't that you can't cross when you're rolling your tongue and it's harder to do on the lower note so don't start practicing this on the lower register like a low C or low D because your reed's going to be um, vibrating a little slower down there and it'll it'll trip up the reed a lot easier than if you start up in the middle range of the saxophone <laughs> That's kind of hard to do just from attacking it like that. So, uh, can be done, of course. But when you're starting to learn this technique, 
don't start at the bottom of the horn. Start at the, maybe go on the middle A. Have fun with it.